Greetings, this is Pastor Linda with the thought of the day. And yesterday we looked at love. I was talking about my anniversary being 43 years of marriage. Well, we're going to continue on with 1 John 4. It says, And we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so we are in this world. For there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We loved him because he first loved us. He said there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. So today's thought is God's love is perfect in that there is no fear in it. And God is love. So there's no fear in God in the kind of tormenting fear. You know, we're to fear him because he's the creator in the sense that we respect him. We know that we came from him. We're going to go back to him. All things come from him. We That we own nothing. Everything belongs to him. But as far as torment, the devil is the tormentor, the Bible says. And God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, 2 Timothy 1, seven says. So there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. So if you're in fear today, then God wants to deliver you because he said there is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out that fear. All right, it gets rid of the fear. God will get rid of the fear in your life if you let him. So just say, Lord, forgive me, Lord, for fearing and being in fear. Lord, because fear has torment. I don't want to be fearful, Lord. I want to commit my life to you, rest and trust in you, uh, rest and trust in your word, and know that you are love. And so, Lord, I thank you for taking away the fear from me. Lord, 2 Timothy 1.7, you said, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So, Lord, I receive your power, I receive your love, and I receive your sound mind today. Thank you, Lord, for giving me your love. And I thank you that I'm free from all fear because your love lives in me and perfect love casts out all fear. And so, Lord, I just receive your love. I receive perfect love in my life. And I thank you for saving me, delivering me, healing me, setting me free today in filling me with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So remember today and for the rest of your life that perfect love casts out fear and God is love. Amen. So rest in God and rest in his love. Amen. Till next time, this is Pastor Linda with Christian Family Church of Lakeville. Don't forget to join us Sundays at 10 a.m. online or in person. Go to cfclakeville.com. And check out my website at lindacross.com for the thought of the day and other webinars and upcoming events. And if you need prayer, please email me at linda at lindacross.com. And don't forget to support us. Sow a seed today so you can reap a harvest as we go into Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, around the world, starting Bible schools and preaching the gospel and setting people free. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. So help us to, to go into all the world and set people free with the word of God. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Look upon you with his favor and give you peace today. And say, I'll receive that and I'll receive his love. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.